Hello, it is Thursday the 28th of January and it's time for our maths session again today and we are still looking at subtracting. So following on from what we did yesterday, we are still going to have a go with subtracting. Now, below I have got some different words here and it says difference minus subtract and take away. Can we remember what I said they all meant? Yesterday we looked at what those words meant. What did we say they meant? Have a look, have a think. See if you could tell your grown up in the room with you. What does difference minus subtract and take away mean? You're right, well done. It all means subtracting. So in your book, you might have different words. It might say, oh, I don't know, eight minus four. And you might think, minus, what's minus? What, what's it asking me to do? You might not know. But actually, we do know that if it says difference, minus, subtract or take away, it's just another way of subtracting. OK, so don't panic if you see one of those words in there and you think, oh, I don't know what it means. Because we do, we do know what it means. Right, then let's have a look at what we're going to do. So, the first thing we're going to do is have a look at number sentences. Number sentences. So, here we have if 8 minus 3 equals 5, then 8 take away 5 equals 3. So let's just have a look. If eight, oh now we know that says eight because we were looking just before we broke up for the, for the lockdown, we were looking at writing our numbers in the written form, weren't we? So if eight minus three equals five, then eight take away five equals three. Fantastic. So let's look at the next one. If ten Take away six equals four, then 10 minus four equals what? So we need to work this out, okay? So let me get my pen. So if 10 take away six, so it's another way of taking away. Sometimes it might have the take away sign. So I'll put the take away sign there, just a reminder. So 10 take away six is four. It's already done the working out four as 10 take away 6 is 4. Then 10 minus 4. So we get 10. 10 in our head. 4 fingers. Minus, we said, meant take away. It meant subtract. Okay? So 10 minus 4. So 10, 9, 8, 7, 6. So we know if 10 take away 6 is 4, then 10 minus 4 equals, now because we've got the number there, I want to have a go at writing the word 6. 6. Excellent. If 10 take away 6 equals 4, then 10 minus 4 equals 6. Excellent. Right, let's move on. Okay, so now we are going to circle the numbers on the number line. So here's a sum for us here. Let's read it together. Nine take away three. Now, if you don't have a number line at home, ask an adult or you can have a go at drawing one, okay? We, we've gone from zero to 20, or if not, you can pause it on the board and you can have a go at doing it practically or in your books, which is the work you're going to complete today, there are the number lines there for you to complete that work. It's just if you want to do these with me, okay, then you can have a go. So 
So nine take away three. So let's go on nine. And I am taking away, which means we're jumping backwards. No, we're jumping down the number line, not up the number line. Nine take away three. One, two, three. What number did I land on? Six. Well done. Now it's really important when we're jumping down that number line that we just jump to the next dot. Okay. What I shouldn't see, let me show you. Let's just delete this. What I shouldn't see is this. Nine. One, two, three. Because it's not going to give us the correct answer. So it's really important that we stay. Oh, come on, that we stay jumping on each dot as we go, okay? Jumping on each dot as we go. So let's just have another go. So nine and we're taking away three. One, two, three. And we know the answer is six. So I'm just going to write it here. Equals six. Fantastic. Let's see if there's another one that we can do together. Oh, here's another one. Twelve. Take away four. Four. So I'm going to start on 12. Let's find number 12. Here it is. And I am going to jump back down the number line. Four. One, two, three, four. Let's circle that number. What number have I landed on? Well done, number eight. So we know. That 12 take away 4 equals 8. Excellent, well done. So now we are looking at filling the gaps, okay? And we're going to fill the gaps using numbers that are smaller than 10. Smaller than 10. So I have wrote here the number 0 to 10. 0, 1, Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So this one has been done for us. We've done this one already. So seven take away three equals four. So we've got seven take away three, one, two, three, and I know I end up on four. Okay. So now I've got two boxes that are empty here. They're empty. And I need to make a number sentence up, a subtraction number sentence up. So, can I start with one? No, I can't. I can't start with one because I need to start with a larger number than five because five's our answer. We've got that bit of information already that five is the answer. So actually, Mrs. O'Keefe, I think I'm going to go the other side and I'm going to start at number 10 here because I know that 10 is bigger than 5. So 10 take away something equals 5. So if I go on number 10, I can work it out just like what we did with the number line. I can work it out if I put 10 there. How many have I gone down to get to number 5? And that will give me the answer. So. Ten. So we're going to go one, two, three, four, five. Let's just double check. One, two, three, four, five. So I know that ten take away five equals five. So it's just really important that you look at that answer first and make sure that this first box here has a larger number than the answer. So you might have done number eight. In fact, let's do that now. Let's do it together. There's another example. Let me take this out. Okay. Excellent. Now, we said eight. So I'm going to start eight because eight is a bigger number than that five, isn't it? So eight. Let me go on eight. I'll use a different colour so you can see. 
And I've got to get to five. So let's see how many jumps. One, two, three. So I know that eight take away three equals five. So today, your task, get your maths book out. And you're going to turn to page 14. And all of the things on here are all of the things that we've just covered in our main teaching book there, okay? So it's really important if you get stuck, just go back to where we were. My questions on here are not necessarily the same as the ones in your book. So please pay attention, okay, to make sure that you're doing the right ones. Have a good thing send them in i'm really impressed with what i'm seeing so far year two so keep sending them in well done